Okay, this is a continuation. When I do the Muslims, I'll be doing this side of my face, plus doing a mock Arabic accent. When I do mine, I'll be doing this side of my face. Okay. Starts here. You said, quote, if they wanted to partner with Allah, they are damned, unquote. You mean they aren't? Again, how am I lying? Uh, you think you qualify to give fatwas like an Islamic scholar? No, just going by the logic of a book that says the earth is spread out like a carpet, is all. Ha ha ha. No, my friend, they are not damned. How come? First study what brings God's damnation before you decide to criticize Islam. Sounds like you feel you can partner. But I'm pretty sure about one thing. Lying and misquoting does. To s so stop doing that. Oh, perhaps I have misquoted. But how have I lied? And if I have misquoted, how have I done that? No takia. Line for Allah, please. How? Well, why does a being who hates shirt... Your, 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 okay. Uh, your dispute about God using we shows how little you know about Islam. Well, why does a being who hates shirk more than anything call itself we for describing the one? Why why does Allah use the royal we if, uh, if, if Allah hates shirk so much? I saw many like you who assume themselves as scholars. I see. I never saw many like you who assume themselves as scholars. You mean I'm not? How come? Just after reading one or two anti-Islamic sites. You mean a Muslim site? You mean I'm not a scholar? How, how come I'm not a scholar? Oh, well, what I mean doesn't matter. As, I lo as, as long as you are content with your self-righteous beliefs. Oh? It won't be a problem because that belief exists only within the, the little corner of your head. And if it exists in a lot of other places, well, what then? Now, what do you mean by Muslim site? Sorry to say that I realize you have a reading problem too. Please, how so? How do I have a reading problem? Please, go back and read what I wrote instead of trying to put words in my mouth, such as... As I told you earlier, playing tricks and lying is your only hope against Islam. Again, where have I lied? Evidence, please. Every comment of yours proved that. He made a smile when he said that. I can see you are smiling because you can't e you e because even you can't believe what you said there, can you? doesn't respond so another time I say this I say you mean they aren't damned again how am I lying yes my friend they aren't damned but they wanted to partner with Allah so how can they not escape eternal damnation being they being that partnering with Allah is unforgivable and you are lying because nowhere in Quran does it say that obey Muhammad will cause damnation since you said such a thing, it's proof to me you either don't read what I write, or you're trying to cause diversion. By the way, it sounds like you feel you can partner. Which part of my comment was so? Which which part of my comment was so hard for you to understand, my friend? May I clarify? Yes, please do. And he doesn't, so I say. Yeah, but the, but I said I said again about the people who was talking about. I said they wanted to partner with Allah. So how can they not escape eternal damnation? Being that partnering with Allah is unforgivable. It is you who say that partnering with Allah is unforgivable. What? What? I didn't write the I didn't write the Quran. You want the Quranic scriptures where it says to partner with Allah is unforgivable, unpardonable? Not the quote clear signs. What, well, what calls itself the clear signs? Take a guess. And if partnering with Allah for the goal of Islam is a sin, and it is, for what does Allah, what 
for what does quote all of her bid bids that you associate a partner with him what does that mean to you then we can't be a muslim in the first place kind of a catch-22 isn't it that would be that would mean being a muslim is a sin according to allah what nonsense exactly now you're seeing where i'm coming from islam is our goal and allah wants us in his team simple you'd think instead to partner with allah is shirk thus damnation awaits you if you want that isn't that stupid and since you said that it's proof to me that you either don't read what i write or you're trying to cause diversion yes my friend you said such a thing and i posted what you said in another comment that you said quote abain muhammad causes shirk and damnation not according to the quran not according to the quran but it should be damnation if you want the clear signs to be consistent when it says shirk is unpardonable or unforgivable for some strange reason if the quran is not a lie um you are to obey Allah and and Muhammad, thus making them partners in your obeying of them. But hey, again, since it wasn't shirk with angels bowing to mankind or Allah swearing by everything it created, hey, the worry is not that you are Muhammadan for obeying him and Allah. The worry is that you said, quote, it is you who say, it is, quote, is you who say that partnering with Allah is unforgivable. Thus, you think it isn't unforgivable. Thus, you do not see a problem with it, or not much of a problem with it. Thus, you really don't know the Quran, and I can see why you would say you want to partner with Allah in your goal to bring about Islam. Now that you realize you were lying initially, not even initially, O slave of the best of deceivers. Not even initially. Everything I brought forth can be backed up by the Quran. I just haven't yet uh, presented the scriptures that tells you that shirk is unpardonable and that you are to obey Allah and Muhammad. You want to escape by accusing me of not reading or causing diver diversion. I'll leave that up to our readers viewers to decide that for themselves how's that i'll leave i'll leave it up to them quran tells you to obey allah and muhammad making allah a partner unquote. exactly but for some reason that is not shirk like angels being con commanded by all to bow down to mankind uh not being shirk for some crazy reason what did you mean by that will you explain oh i've explained it more than once today Read, your, read our exchanges I just posted, okay? I mean, if they want to partner with Allah, they are damned. You think I really, I, you think you qualify to give fatwas like an Islamic scholar? No. Just going by the clear sign, what the clear signs say, which is that Al hates partnering with him to the point to do so is unpardonable and unforgivable. That's all. Ha ha ha. No, my friend. They are not damned. What does Allah hates that you partner with? They put in a partner with him. What does that mean to you? First study what brings God's damnation before you decide to criticize Islam. Besides killing for Allah or bowing to the black stone five times a day, well, what doesn't send you to the fire if you aren't killing for Allah or bowing to the black stone? But I'm pretty sure about one thing. Lying and misquoting does. So stop doing that. How have I lied and misquoted? Evidence, please. I mean, really, how have I lied or misquoted? And by the way, what does all the hates that you partner with him mean to you? Ha ha ha. Like I said, I can see now you are ready to listen. You should have done that initially before passing out baseless judges, judgment and lies. What baseless judgment and lies? Well, it simply means Allah hates us worshiping someone besides him. Then why are you to obey Al and Mo? I mean, it sounds like you're supposed to worship Mo also. Not that he hates us obeying Muhammad. Rather, he likes us obeying him and orders us to obey him. Him? You mean Muhammad? You don't see how that contradicts the Quran saying that Al hates partnering with him? You don't see how that makes the Quran a contradiction? 
makes it contradictory. They were, they were your problem. They were your problem lies, my friend. Where did I lie? Examples, please. Uh, remember, I accused you of misinterpreting. This is it. How have I misinterpreted? What does Allah hates that you partner with him mean to you? Uh, and what does you must obey Allah and his messenger? You don't see partnering in the second? Of course, since Al, since Al had no problem with having angels bowing to humans rather than Al, and the fact that Al swears partners, according to Muhammad, uh, by everything Al made, well, I guess there is no problem here that such, such shirk is forgivable and pardonable, even though the Quran says the opposite. But again, all this is diversion from the fact that you said you wanted to partner with Al. I can only laugh at your prejudiced and immature understanding of our belief. How am I prejudging your belief? What have I gotten wrong in my judgment of it? Evidence, please. No, Takiya. It simply shows how weak you are in your judgment. Again. How am I prejudging your belief? What have I forgot? What have I gotten wrong in my judgment of it? Evidence, please. No, Takiya. No, my friend. Eternal damnation is not that cheap as you were made to believe. Cheap? All of those who strive for Islam and guide others to Islam are all partners of each other. Oh, I'm sure they are. However, what, what if you want to partner with Allah to achieve that? What happens when you partner with Allah? What is the clear signs clear about? What's the clear signs clear about there? So don't worry about so don't worry about me. Worry about yourself because by such comments of yours, you prove others that you are someone who never read read and and lazily make baseless assumptions. Again, what is shirk? What is unforgivable? Now, how am I prejudging your belief? What have I gotten wrong in my judgment of it? Evidence, please, no takia. As long as you're not making, as long as you are not making any claim of your of my own, what for? What for must I bring any 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 evidence? Uh, since a Muslim is allowed to lie, be that most said war is a seat. Well, sorry, but even honest Muslims can't be trusted with what they say, no matter how much they blame takia on Shiites. Or say it doesn't exist. It's not your fault. It's Mo. It's Mo's fault. The, the exalted man's fault. All I keep telling you is your claim is a complete lie. You mean you can partner with all? You can partner with Allah? How am I lying here? Again, what does Allah shall have no partner associated with him mean to you? What does it mean? So it's you who bring, uh, who should bring the evidence for the Quran to prove me that you are not lying. I just did. As long as I, as long as you can't, it's as if you are suing me in court for raping your wife without any proof. No, it's more that you are denying what the quote clear signs warns against, which is partnering. In which case, I am automatically exempted uh, uh, for my proving my innocence. Well, we'll leave that up to Allah to decide on the last day, won't we? Ha ha ha! No, you don't have to wait that long, my friend. If you don't understand simple logic, uh, go to my any court of law and try to accuse someone of rape without any proof. Want proof that you perform shirk? You said, I want to partner with Allah. You even said, others wanted to partner with Allah. Misery loves company, maybe. And with that scripture, I and with the script and with the scriptures I know of in the Quran, partnering with Allah um, is again unpardonable. It's the worst of sins. It's worse than rape. It's worse than murder, pedophilia, genocide. You name it. And I will tell you that that he is innocent until proven guilty. I think you're innocent. I do. I think you're innocent. But I'm not the best of deceivers. 